Hi, everybody. It's uh, Tony Gee Parker, also known as uh, Tony the Tapper. And uh, this uh, recording uh, is a specialty recording for all ACOAs or adult children of dysfunctional families, also for uh, combat and complex PTSD survivors, as well as CE4 PTSD survivors and uh, anybody suffering from some, you know, complex or whatever post-traumatic stress disorder. The topic is tonight uh, is about uh, intrusive thoughts. Now, intrusive thoughts, by and large, uh, and again, I, I'm going to try and stay kind of generalizing and vague because uh, it, it's a it's a complex issue. But uh, for the purposes of tonight's uh, tapping exercises, intrusive thoughts, by and large, tend to be uh, emotional memories or literal memories of past traumatic events. And they invade uh, us in the here and now, uh, oftentimes in situations that are completely unrelated. They may be related sometimes, but more often than not, we can be sitting in a coffee shop reading the daily daily paper and the next thing you know an intrusive thought uh, usually has some uh, traumatic uh, content uh, life or death type content uh, and it has very little to do with what's going on around us uh, this also occurs in a visual way that's often called a flashback uh, where we get a, a brief flash like a snapshot or a one second usually it's it's hardly ever longer than a couple of seconds but uh and usually it's uh assu we assume it's some kind of hallucination or delusion but more often than not it's actually a memory what happens uh with people who have ptsd whatever form of ptsd uh is what they call an amnesiac barrier where we, uh, in order to survive, shall we say, psychologically, emotionally, and it's part of the PTSD process, okay, it is a survival feature, as it were, the conscious mind goes offline with a, whenever there's a really horrendously traumatic event. And uh, people who uh, have this phenomenon, uh, PTSD, and then this kind of, often experience either complete amnesia or partial amnesia uh, and what's interesting though is even though the conscious mind does not remember the event or only remembers little pieces of the event the uh, shall we say the security camera has been running all along and that somewhere in the subconscious the complete event has been com totally recorded in perfect detail and what seems to happen is years later after the event uh, there's a kind of a leakage uh, and little flashes, little memory flashbacks, little memory flashes of these events, of uh, these traumatic events are, re are replayed in the here now. And of course, it's something that's completely out of context. And of course, if you uh, have amnesia of the event, it, it feels like or appears to be perhaps delusional or, you know, some, you know, fantasy when in fact it's a memory well the same thing with the intrusive thoughts the intrusive thoughts tend to be more of an emotional memory rather than a visual memory so there may be a sense of fear extreme fear extreme panic extreme paranoia again in a kind of feeling a life or death type situation okay so that somebody's trying to kill us somebody's going to attack us we feel trapped or powerless or violated you know and but but with strong uh emotional content now that's an intrusive thought okay uh and again it's just the emotional memory uh in the same way that the visual uh, memory would be a flashback Sometimes this is accompanied with body feelings as well as strong emotions like fear or anger or anxiety or panic. Uh, so it's very overwhelming because there you are reading the newspaper in the coffee shop and you start, you're overcome with these feelings yet 
in the here and now, nothing that dangerous is going on around you. Sometimes these flashbacks and intrusive thoughts are triggered by similar events. Perhaps we are around difficult people or people who are being unfair or hostile or unfriendly. And this would, this could trigger these memories. But more often than not, you can, they don't need a trigger. It's just leakage. The amnesiac barrier isn't 100%, okay? Okay, so EFT is a very powerful tool, emotional freedom techniques. Uh, is a form of energy healing. Uh, it's been around the U.S. Uh, you know for probably 30 odd years. Uh, it's been renamed and rebranded uh, lots of different names. Originally it was Thought Field Therapy, then it was a whole bunch of other names, T-A-T, C-E-R, a whole alphabet soup of different names. Uh, thought Field Therapy and then there's EFT which is Emotional Freedom Techniques. They've been around for a while, actually in Asia, uh, in India, Nepal, uh, Tibet, uh, Japan, Southeast Asia. Uh, again, uh, these, these practices have been around for literally thousands of years, okay? It's not unlike acupuncture. In fact, very often today we call it acupuncture without needles. And uh, basic, it's very simple, it's very easy to learn. And it's very good for, you can self-treat, which is really why it's so wonderful uh, for anybody who's suffering from any kind of uh, intrusive thoughts, PTSD, etc. cetera. Uh, it's basically, we tap on the various acupuncture points. Uh, at the moment, we only use nine or 10 of them. We don't need to tap on 3,000. Uh, for about seven, you know, seven to 20 times while uh, repeating various healing statements, affirmations, etc. And the way you work with me is just repeat what I say. Tap where I tap and repeat what I say. It's that simple. It's that easy. And with, uh, with regard to intrusive thoughts, uh, I'm going to take you right through a uh, treatment for intrusive thoughts. Uh, another note here, uh, some people respond to EFT very quickly. Uh, I'm going to assume the worst. We're going to go, we're going to have, this is going to be a three round treatment. Now a round means a complete cycle of EFT tapping and affirmations. All right. Uh, some people can tap uh, just again one round and they're restored to complete harmony, balance, serenity, and calm. Other people may need two or three rounds. So, uh, uh, if after one round you find yourself completely calm and relaxed, uh, perfectly serene, fine, turn off the recording, okay? However, if you're still experiencing uh, some distress or feelings, do another round. I've, this recording will include three rounds, which almost guaranteed will take a uh, intrusive thought and turn it into, you know, complete calm and relaxation. Again, uh, you know, I have to say this is temporary. This is first aid. This is a band-aid. This will give you relief for four to six to even 24 hours, depending. Okay. Everybody's a little different. Uh, but again, no medication. Uh, at most, this is going to take you 20 minutes. And let's face it, it, it's completely free. It's something you can do for yourself when and as needed. All right. So the first thing we do Okay, is assume, if you can tap in the moment of the intrusive thought, great. If you can't, don't worry. You know, it's very hard to tap in the moment. But as soon as you can, after the intrusive thought, you find yourself a private, you know, quiet, safe space, okay, where you won't be interrupted. And just tune in to the, uh, your emotional state. All right, and what you want to do first of all is gauge your subjective unit of distress okay your suds your emotional state on a scale of 0 to 10 okay 0 being you're completely calm and relaxed and serene and 10 being you're screaming or you're crying okay that would be the first thing the also the all next thing would be would to identify what kind of emotional state you're in are you angry are you frightened are you in panic uh, what would be the mad sad glad type feeling simple you know, simple word for your feeling, okay? And also, you may have a body memory. Very often, uh, uh, intrusive thoughts are accompanied by a body memory. 
It may be a lump in the throat, tightness in the chest, uh, queasy, nauseous feeling in the stomach, uh, aches or pains in the back, aches or pains in the muscles. Uh, This is very common. Not always, but very common. Okay, so you'd want to kind of take note of that. And then in your EFT basic statement, which I will lead you in, and I'll leave blanks uh, and kind of give you a little nod when you should fill in the blanks and include whatever is appropriate for you. Okay? And if it's not appropriate, uh, you know, if you don't have a body memory or if you uh, don't particularly feel any particular feeling, then just leave that out. Okay? All right. So, again, you know, you can customize this to, to fit your specific individual situation. So again, let's just start tapping and just repeat after me, tapping on your karate chop. Again, on average, 7 to 20 times continuously on each tapping point. Even though I have this intrusive thought, or these intrusive thoughts, okay, even though I have these intrusive thoughts, and my number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, and I feel this feeling of mad, sad, glad, right, uh, in my neck, back, stomach, okay, chest, all right, I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Very good, excellent. So even though I have these intrusive thoughts, and I feel these feelings of, in my, okay, and again, if you feel the feelings, name them and if you feel a body memory name you know fill that in and if you don't leave it out okay I choose to heal release and let go all intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my and I deeply and completely love accept and forgive myself very good excellent So even though I have these intrusive thoughts and these feelings of in my, I choose to heal, release, and let go all feelings of in my, and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Again, fill in the blanks or customize a statement so it works for you. One more time, just for practice. So even though I have these intrusive thoughts and these feelings of in my, I choose to heal, release, and let go all intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, very good. Top of the head. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my again, fill in the blanks or leave out what doesn't work for you. Eyebrow. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my side of the eye, all intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my, very good, under the eye, all intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my, very good, under the nose, all intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my, excellent, under the mouth, All intrusive thoughts and feelings of, in my, fill in the blanks where necessary. Okay, call it on. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of, in my, under the arm. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of, in my, okay, karate chop. So even though I have these intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my, I choose to heal, release, and let go 
all intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Very good. And now top of the head. I choose to heal, release, and let go. All feeling, all intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Okay, eyebrow. I deserve to heal, release, and let go. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Very good. Fill in the blanks where you need or leave it out if it's, you know, it's not appropriate for you. Side of the eye. I give myself permission to heal, release, and let go. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Under the eye. I am willing to heal, release, and let go. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Fill in the blanks. Under the nose. It's safe for me to heal, release, and let go. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Under the mouth. I have the power to heal, release, and let go. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Collarbone. I like the way it feels when I heal, release, and let go. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Under the arm. It's easy for me to heal, release, and let go. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Karate chop. So even though I have these intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my, I choose to heal, release, and let go. All intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Very good. Now let's go top of the head. Letting go of all intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Eyebrow. I deserve to heal, release, and let go. No, oh, excuse me, sorry. Letting go. Side of the eye. Letting go. Under the eye. Letting go. Under the nose. Letting go. Under the mouth. Letting go. Collarbone. Letting go. Under the arm. Letting go. Karate chop. Letting go of all intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, very good. Excellent. Let's all take a deep breath. And I'll release. Very good. Excellent. All right, now what you want to do is tap, start tapping on your karate chop and tune in. What is the suds or the level of intensity? Say you started at a 10 and now it's down to a 6. Okay. Or say it's down to a 0. All right. If you're down to a 0, then you're good. Time to stop. Enjoy yourself. Have a nice evening. Have a nice day. You know, read the paper. <laughs> Have. Don't forget to hydrate. Have a little water or juice or whatever. And then, you know, you might want to take a nap or just, you know, go about your business. However, you're down to a six, you may want to start tapping again, do two rounds. Okay, and just repeat after me. Even though there's been some progress. Okay, now again, we use whatever numbers are right for you, but just you fill in the blanks. Uh, even though there's been some progress, I started at a 10, 9, 8, whatever. And I'm down to 5, 6, 4, whatever. Okay, and there's still some remaining 
intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my again if you have the body memories and the emotional state put it if you don't don't worry about it leave it out okay I deeply and completely love accept and forgive myself Excellent. Very good. So even though there's still some remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my, I choose to heal, release, and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my, again, fill in the blanks, for the appropriate body memories and emotional state. Okay. I choose to heal, release, and let go all remaining feelings of in my, okay, and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, one more time. So even though there's still some remaining feelings of intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my, I choose to heal, release, and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my and I deeply and completely love accept and forgive myself very good excellent now let's go top of the head all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my fill in the blanks where appropriate eyebrow all remaining feelings of all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my side of the eye all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my under the eye all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my under the nose all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my fill in the blanks where appropriate under the mouth all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my collarbone all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my under the arm all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my karate chop so even though there's still some remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my I choose to heal release and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my and I deeply and completely love accept and forgive myself very good top of the head I choose to heal release and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my eyebrow I deserve to heal release and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts feelings of in my okay side of the eye I give myself permission to heal release and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my fill in the blanks where appropriate okay under the eye I am willing to heal release and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my under the nose it's safe for me to heal release and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in mind okay very good under the mouth I have the power to heal release and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in mind okay collarbone I like the way it feels when I heal release and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my okay, very good under the arm it's easy for me to heal release and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts feelings of in my fill in the blanks where appropriate okay very good karate chop so even though there's still some remaining feelings of intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my I choose to heal, release, and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. 
Very good. Excellent. Let's go top of the head. Letting go of all remaining intrusive thoughts, feelings of in mind. Eyebrow letting go. Side of the eye letting go. Under the eye letting go. Under the nose letting go. Under the mouth letting go. Collarbone letting go. Under the arm letting go. Karate chop letting go of all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, take a deep breath. And I'll release. Very good. Excellent. All right, so there you go. That's the second round. And again, what you do is start tapping. And now tune in to yourself. Uh, look, listen to your body. Listen to your emotions and your feelings. And uh, what's the level of intensity? Very often after two rounds, you're down to a zero. But say you're down to a three or a four and, you know, you want to go down to zero. Well, we'll do a third round. Uh, you know, a lot of people respond immediately with one round or one complete cycle of EFT tapping. Sometimes it takes two rounds and then sometimes it takes three rounds. Everybody's a little different and every situation's a little different, too. So let's go for the third round, okay? So now let's just say, even though there's been some progress, I started at 10, 9, 8, whatever, okay? I went down to 4, 5, 6, whatever that was, uh, and then to uh, 2 or 3, uh, 4, whatever. And there's still some remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my, again, the body memories and the emotional state, okay? And again, if you don't have them, or either or, just leave them out of the statement, okay? I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Very good. So even though there's still some remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of, in my, okay, I choose to heal, release, and let go. All remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my and I deeply and completely love accept and forgive myself very good I'll do it one more time so even though there's still some remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my I choose to heal release and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my and I deeply and completely love accept and forgive myself okay very good excellent let's go top of the head all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my fill in the blanks if appropriate if and when okay eyebrow all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my Side of the eye, all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Fill in the blanks if you have to, if you want to. Under the eye, all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Under the nose, all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. All remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Collarbone, all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Under the arm, all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Again, fill in the blanks if, where it's appropriate. Karate chop. So even though there's still some remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. I choose to heal, release, and let go. All remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my. Okay, and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Top of the head. I choose to heal, release, and let go. All remaining feelings of in my. 
eyebrow. I deserve to heal, release, and let go. All remaining feelings of in my fill in the blanks. So I, I give myself permission to heal, release, and let go. All remaining feelings of in my okay, and the eye. I am willing to heal, release, and let go. All remaining feelings of in my okay, under the nose. It's safe for me to heal, release, and let go. All remaining feelings of in my okay, under the mouth. I have the power to heal, release, and let go. All remaining feelings of in my collarbone. I like the way it feels when I heal, release, and let go. All remaining feelings of in my don't forget to fill in the blanks if appropriate under the arm. It's easy for me to heal, release, and let go. All remaining feelings of in my very good karate chop so even though there's still some remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of or in my I choose to heal release and let go all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my and I deeply and completely love accept and forgive myself okay, very good top of the head letting go of all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my Eyebrow letting go. Side of the eye letting go. Under the eye letting go. Under the nose letting go. Under the mouth letting go. Collarbone letting go. Under the arm letting go. Karate chop letting go of all remaining intrusive thoughts and feelings of in my And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. <sighs> Very good. Take a deep breath. <laughs> I just did. Okay, so that's three rounds. Uh, and I would say with most situations, most people, that should take you down from a 10 to a 0. If you do three rounds, more than likely you'll be at a 0. If there's still some remaining... Uh, kind of emotional intensity uh, there may be other you may want to try another round or you may just have to try it again on another day or there may be something that we need to look at but more often than not in 99.999 percent uh, three rounds you're gonna be at a zero and you're gonna be floating and again this will give you temporary relief from four to six to twelve to twenty four hours everybody's a little different and it depends on the intrusive thought. What I would do is if you can remember what the intrusive thought is, write it down in your EFT Monster Hall of Fame section, your little notebook in the Monster Hall of Fame section, okay? Uh, write it down because that, require, that may require further work, okay? Uh, again, uh, what we do uh, is... Uh, I'm offering you, like I said, these temporary band-aid, first aid fixes for PTSD symptoms. If you're an ACOA, an incest survivor, a rape survivor, a uh, combat uh, PTSD survivor, a uh, CE4 survivor, post-abduction syndrome survivor, okay, uh, these tapping routines that I'm teaching you publicly will give you temporary band-aid, first aid uh, relief. However, if you want permanent relief, EFT will work uh, between 12, if you're dedicated and you're serious, between 12 to 30 weeks of intensive work, okay? But in order to do that, you'll need to contact a practice, you know, a qualified professional or contact me and for a free intake and we'll discuss a, you know, a treatment plan, a personal treatment plan that should work for you. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed our little tapping session. It, it Like I said, this will give you temporary relief. It works for 99.9% .9 of the people that, I, that have tried this. So give it a whirl. 
It should work for you. And again, uh, feel free to uh, contact me privately. Uh, blessings. Namaste. I love you. Bye.